Yeah. Are Is we on stream now? Maybe. Pussy. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk about cats in my stream? I'm a cat girl. What do you want from me? Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go take my dab. In the meantime, see if you guys can remind yourselves what happened. Have your fun time out of character playing, since I also have to find the darn section of the one we're on, because Jesus Christ, this is a big adventure. It's a big adventure. I found a robot friend. Is he a friend? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes, he's my friend. His name is Mike. That's his... I mean, yes, I am your friend, but that's besides me. <laughs> Roll deception. Crit fail, you called me a bitch. Um... But there's a there's a storm going on, right? And we're on a boat. Oh, there was a pretty heavy storm, and we were on a boat. But when we last ended, what ended up happening is we ended up reaching the island. Right, 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 right. Okay. I'm going to steal stuff, because I'm a rogue. That's my thing. And I got a buddy. And the other researcher... Played by Jewel, who I can't remember the name of. Toyo. Toyo is not. It was not able to tell me what my little friend could do. So I need to find the other researcher who can tell me what my new friend can do. Yeah, you do got to find him. Where are he? He's places. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have that fake mark on my hand that I scratched on with my cat nail because I'm a tabaxi. Yeah, you should also probably try to keep that hand hidden as, po as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm a stowaway. Yeah, and that uh, that that won't uh, resonate with the other symbols on the actual members of this expedition. Yeah. Listen, she's she's trying her best. She's trying her best. Okay. I mean, if you would have just asked the sailors the right question, you wouldn't have any problem. <laughs> But I didn't. <laughs> That's the problem. I didn't. Not very roguelike, are you? <laughs> I'm sneaky. Well, hopefully that sneakiness doesn't come back to bite you on the ass. It won't. I'll be fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My deception is plus six. <laughs> that plus six don't mean a fucking thing unless you roll. If you roll a nat one, then I won't. <laughs> oh, I would laugh. The first roll you do is on that deception, and it's a nat one. <laughs> So mean to me all the time. Never know. Maybe Corman will come to your defense somehow. Maybe Toyo will too. I don't know. It's hard guys... to hear anything from her since she has herself muted. Yeah, but you guys are are my best friends, so you guys will help me in game. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the helping you in game not the friends part <laughs> so mean to me all the time 
Or if you wait until I actually am, then you will be shot. <laughs> That's what happens. You know, I'm very cognizant of the fact that Wedge has still not said that he would not harm Carly. I mean... He kind of did. I guess he just didn't read that part. No, no, I did, but just he didn't actually explicitly say it. He said, isn't it obvious? And no, it's not. I want it, I want it said. Yeah, well, maybe you'll say it as soon as he finishes his, his little moral quandary he's having right now. That's true. Also, what happens if, like, if, like, your little... I'm not gonna say that yet. If my little what? <laughs> I said I'm not gonna say that yet. Why? Because I don't know if you want... I don't know... I'm glad they finally pushed for it, but... Right, because we made it a thing. You do know that Sarah Show being with you is actually more beneficial for me. Yeah, I know. That's why I told Jewel when we were talking beforehand that I, we're going to have to talk in uh, Celestial. Yes. Oh, I wasn't going for the whole uh, spying part. I was saying for the more uh, he can pop out of your armor and attack somebody. Which would throw somebody off because why the fuck does a bard have a pet serpent? I mean, why would the ranger have a pet serpent? Fair. So Both fair questions. Yeah, the poison <laughs> snake wasn't on that list either, but it's here. <laughs> In all fairness, Sarah Show is weak besides that poison. That poison has an easy save. Yeah, it still does damage. It's definitely not a... Uh, there's a reason that poison isn't on the list. <laughs> That's what I love. It's like, we want to do 5e, but we never actually do anything 5e. We do like all this homebrew crap. <laughs> That already exists in three five. <laughs> That's why I'm always laughing. I was like, yeah, when you have to play homebrew every campaign, it's usually because there's missing shit. I just want to constantly use Mage Hand for things that'll make Axel face palm. I mean you're doing a good job so far. Hell yeah. You'll be very happy to know this rogue does not have Mage Hand. I, that yeah. would be really odd if your rogue did. But then again, no, she can use the rage hand with all of her rogue skills. Yeah, <laughs> um, but rogue doesn't get mage hand. At, I don't even think they do if they go. No, but you skills. go one level into wizard and you get mage hand. Go one level into any caster. A yeah, one level you get mage hand. Done. That's the point. Is like <laughs> suddenly you are now a, a thief who can thieve from up to. At least 10 feet away. More if you get the meta magic feet that boosts your spell casting. It's 30 feet. See, that's that's still pretty good. That's a long way away to steal some shit. Yeah, that's why I was able to steal Axel's air. Er, Axel. <laughs> that's why I was None able to steal, steal his arrows. <laughs> that's why I was able to steal Wedge's arrows from across the room. Ah, yes. Classic. All right. Wait, so that that wasn't that wasn't very much appreciated, by the way. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Oh, look, down here, especially when they went cool. disappearing again after you gave them back. But giving them back was a good idea because it means that Carly didn't fucking die. Yeah, I don't think Wedge could have carried two bodies. It's a good thing I have all no. these books from Five Year. I would not be able to play this damn campaign. It uses a lot of different shit. Alright, we used those. We used those. We used that. Oh, yeah, Axel, I did whisper you in 20 chat, by the way. in the wrong chat oh, okay I'm in the wrong chat i don't know why it does that that's weird it wasn't even on this adventure why would it do that that's weird. weird no it, it, all right so it was on this adventure but what i was saying is like it switched me over to player mode instead of gm mode uh which is weird because i 
didn't start this like I switched to player mode in the other campaign when I had that one open, not in this one. So then when I reopened this one, it should have put me back in in GM mode, but maybe they changed something so the settings carry over. Yeah. They might have. They haven't changed much in this this uh program. <laughs> it's still pretty sh no. But it's free. And it lets us do our D&D. I mean, we can always go back to Tabletop Simulator. I don't think we can unless everybody has it. <laughs> what? And, I don't have and, it. and you, you now have a computer that can probably run it. That doesn't mean everybody does. <laughs> but that runs what? Tabletop, tabletop simulator, simulator. Which, honestly, uh, I wouldn't have minded because the reason I wanted to do Tabletop Simulator originally is you can do 3D in Tabletop Simulator, which means I can make 3D maps instead of just, you know... We're always fighting I mean, in a dungeon. I mean, I think my computer can run it. I mean... The other problem is then that in Tabletop Simulator, it might have gone down in price now, but it was expensive for what it was. Um, and... it's, a, it's a sale right now. Oh, that's right. The Steam sale is going. Mm -hmm. Ouch. All right, so... I mean, I'm sorry if I'm chilling. I'm looking for something because stuff happened while I was away. <laughs> And I'm trying to find something because, holy crap, I am... It's not that I'm shit at organizing. It's just probably not the best at trying to find things I know I've had. I pointed out I pointed out to Michael that Wedge still hasn't explicitly said that he wouldn't kill Carly, and I'm very cognizant of that. I'm aware of it, as well as there's also a conversation that was had, but never explicitly explained. You talked yeah. about that conversation we were having in Draconic. Yeah. Yeah. That Carly was like, well, you're now done with your um, conversation, the Draconic conversation. Which Florence is like, sure, she, <laughs> she's just going to agree with that. It was that kind of conversation. Chill conversation. Banter. It, just bants, you know. You gotta have yeah. some good bants. Yeah, even though um, Florence's face probably looks very much pale and... At the same token, is not did not clearly did not sound like banter. Also, I will say, I will say, as well, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Michael just said that it's a good thing that I still have Sarah show with me. It's like a good thing for him because he can pop out and attack people. Yeah. I'm just like, who who is Sarah show gonna attack? I mean, tiny power works. <laughs> tiny power works. Axel gets the joke on that one. That, that poor kobold. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Keep this in mind. I feel like it was intentional enough. <laughs> no, it was Bones not. You, know darn, you saw the rules for that, and you know darn well it was not intentional. Bones break, no matter the intention. It was not intention. It was self-defense, first of all. Because she... Because... In the limited telepathic capacity, she did... Terzo tried to have a conversation with the kobold. But it did not work as intended. As in, it did not work because of the fact that... Uh, apparently, Ursula is not a sweet talker, <laughs> and he didn't, and, and she didn't, and Ursula did not have a uh, a cheering bard to help her along. I do have a, I do, I am a wonderful bard. This is why I said that statement. She didn't have a cheering bard with her. Um, be right back again because I cannot find this damn thing for the love of me. I thought it would be over here. Nope, no. no. My cat is trying to sit on my keyboard, and I'm just like, my son, you need to stop. You test me every day, boy. Please tell me that. Wait, is that the cord? Please tell me that's the cord. Please tell me that's the cord. No, no, the head is it? Because if that was... Uh, let me see. Come on, tiny hands. Nope, that was not it. That was not it. Thanks, Tony. And the yikes. Nope, that was not it. But anyway, be right back. 
I wonder if the other. I wonder if you guys know that we're still in non D and D related. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like I know whether everybody else knows a whole different thing. And the only reason I know, well, I'm amazed. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm awful. And I love how you just now sent me a friend request days after I mentioned that we're not friends. Yeah. Hashtag. I didn't know how to do it. I'm not a smart person. I said this to Jewel earlier. This is why I don't pick up uh, uh, on Axel's DM hints. I'm just like, I'm not smart. I'm dumb. Yeah, I know the yeah. feeling. I'm a dumb person. <laughs> yeah, I know those feels. <laughs> it happens, yo. I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh. Probably means I have to make a voice channel for this one, too. Not necessarily. We'll just hang out and whatever. We are gremlins. We have no rules. To a point. No rules. I, I suppose we can go to one-offs? Maybe? Was that noise? It was that a noise phone. Was phone. Oh. At least it said that the sound. My cat is laying in my dice tray now, you guys. Well, what you do is you take the cat, you pick it up, and you throw it across the room. <gasps> it's okay, cats always land on their feet. <gasps> <laughs> they can hurt their little feet, you guys! Uh... Well, I'm not saying, like, lob it upwards into the air, I'm just saying, like, straight across. A beast is what you are. You're a beast. Roar. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. And boy. <sighs> I'm doing back stitching on my cross stitch right now while I wait for Jewel to come back. That sounds like fun. I'm sitting outside hitting my poofer. That sounds like a euphemism for something. I can promise you it's not. Sounds like a euphemism. It's whatever you want to think it is. can't do that on stream, you'll get reported. It's okay. They don't know, because uh, there's no camera on. Yet. Oh no. 
Oh no. There we are. Man, that took a while to get through for that. Oh man, you guys are going to have a tough time with this one. <laughs> Wonderful. See, Thank you, Axel. Yeah, I, you did, I didn't, des like I didn't design this, though. No, but you're the DM. You can alter it. Hey, look, man. That would fucking ruin the point of doing a module. Also, that takes work. Do you think... Who got time for that? Not me. 
Also, it's fine. It doesn't kick in until, you know, Jewel kicks in. So we're fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is where I experience my first character death, so I'm not sad when Carly dies. <laughs> Could be. No, Carly is a fan favorite. You can't kill her off. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> Maybe. Don't die. <sighs> no promises. Fair enough. Alright, so are we just waiting on Jewel? That's what I thought. I think so, yeah. What she's looking for has to be very important. It's her dice. Oh. It's her will leave. Don't say, oh, I'm making that up. I don't actually know. <laughs> well, my statement still stands. Oh. I'm playing with the cat and these are I'm still cross stitching. I'm reading through on this module trying to get a thing cuz I already missed a couple things. Oh rip. Yeah, it's all right. I'm going to po post them in skillfully <clears throat> like a DM would. Need to get some exercise for your cat so you don't get fat with all the food you're eating. Little shit machine. Big mood. Have you looked yourself in the mirror and said that lately, Michael? <laughs> no, I tend to not look in mirrors. They make me depressed. It's all right. Fair enough. It's all right. <laughs> I know. I know the feels, Michael. Sounds like me in high school. As long as you can still walk to the mirror by yourself, Michael, you're in good shape. <laughs> I like to consider it's I'm in good shape as long as I don't need someone to wipe my ass. For. Yeah, I mean, Fair. that's also a decent goal. I went into the doctor's office one time trying to get some uh, antidepressants, and the doctor was like, "You should exercise." And I'm like, "Bitch, I'm fat, or I'm not fat, I'm sad." Sounds like a shitty doctor. No, it was. Then I got a new doctor. Remember, kids, who's listening at home, whenever the doctor says you should lose weight, ask them for the diagnosis they would give a skinny person. Eat more food. Exactly. Or get a boyfriend. Can't relate. Okay, get a significant other. Okay, fair. Oh, that was funny too. When I was getting my kidney stone surgery, the doctor was like, "Are you are you uh, in any way pregnant now?" And I was like, "No." And she's like, "What uh, what uh, contraceptive do you use?" And I was like, "I don't use any." And she's like, "And then how do you know you're not pregnant?" And I was like, "I'm gay." And she's like, "Oh." <laughs> it's like what more do you want fucking want from me I'm in pain just get this kidney stone out of me understand yeah kidney stone 0 out of 10 never had a kidney stone fucking sucks they put a stint in me and then they had to take it out when I was wide awake they just went in there and took it out sounds like a dick move 
but you know. Mm-hmm. It, <laughs> For a guy, it is a dick. <laughs> God, I can't imagine. Ugh, because it, it felt so bad to have the stint in as a girl. Just like imagine trying to exist as a man with the with the stint in your in your pee hole. Yeah. I'm good. No. Just kill me. Good on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> it's all good. I don't need I don't need to live that bad. I don't like life that much. <laughs> God. God. All right. Well, all right. uh I'll be right back I guess while we wait for Joe. Have we tried tagging Jewel to see if she's okay? Not yet. I got this. You got this? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. We miss you. Come back. You know the funny thing is I just edited the last uh videos we did at these ones before we did this. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. Were they good? Mm, I mean I'm in them, of course they're good. good. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't help either. <clears throat> but <laughs> but that wasn't the main issue. <laughs> Just one of many. Uh, no, it's fine. Um, I guess in the meantime, I'll give the premise of the stuff we missed, which we can fill Jewel on when she gets in. So basically, uh, as you're meandering about the cabin, Michael, uh, one of the s- sailors slash soldiers comes up to you and he's like, uh, Sir... Yes. I have uh, news from the captain, sir. Oh? Yes. Uh, apparently, there are some uh, additional things that the mage peoples want. I don't know what their names are. But uh, they are they are offering extra for the people who are able to get them, since you are not the only one on this ship uh, hired to do this job go on so uh you know in addition to what we had offered before apparently you know if you can rescue slotic and return his possessions they will give you five thousand gold pieces for you and anybody else involved okay love you i will keep that in mind yes and uh, on another side note, uh, it is only 3000 to bring back the body and his possessions. But I, we'd get to keep his possessions? No, no, no. We need, we need the possessions still. They definitely want his possessions. It's just 5000 alive, 3000 dead. What if he's half alive? I don't know what that means. You know, not exactly dead, not exactly alive, half My, alive. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with zero, but I don't know. Since you know, they only asked for alive or body. Okay. Is there anything else? Well, me and the other guards, uh, you know, we're kind of looking around and seeing to, uh, to see, but if you might need some people to accompany you on this journey, uh, we would do it for some coin. How much coin? That depends there. Depends on what? Well, it depends on, uh... 
How many people you got? Is it just you? Well, no, it's not just me. It's apparently another researcher. Well, yes, but that's them. Are you with them? To my knowledge, I assume we are. Hmm, that's better then. Less, less chance of us all dying with two of you. We'll say the boys and I would like 10%. 10% of the total that we would be given, including the returning said person alive? I was thinking more of for the bonus, but... You know, if you want to give it for everything. Well, the everything all depends on my mood by the time this all ends, but 10% sounds full, which will be paid to your friends upon completion and we get our payment. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. Would you would you mind putting your uh, putting your sign on this here paper? And he just pulls out like a parchment with some scribbles. Uh, I'm going to read the scribbles. All right, it is in uh, common, so you know it's it's right. pretty easy. It says this here man here decided to done pay us ten percent. I'm going to hand the piece of parchment back to him and ask him to uh, more definely write that out. Yeah, he does. His, he, get, he writes some scribbles on it and then gives it back and it says, For me and the boys, spelled F U R. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he can read. I'm, I'm going to look at the sailor. I'm going to look at the paper. I'm going to bring my backpack around and pull out ink and quill and then I'm going to write on it 10% of initial payment we were to receive. It's like, what hair there does now initial mean? Aren't you supposed to put that at the end there? Yes, I was fixing this agreement so that it's what we verbally agreed on to 10% of what we were to be paid. I don't know what all that means, but if you're writing devil magics, we'll throw you off the ship. I look at the sailor. Do I look like a guy that does devil magic? A little bit. Do I look like a guy that does magic at all? Well, a little bit, a... yes. <laughs> That's a little bit racist. He... Well, you... Who said that? Corrin <laughs> <laughs> just looks at the sailor and gives him this look of... You look like someone who'd be snorting that magic. <laughs> you want to buy some magic kids? At the bottom of paper, Corin signs his name. Corin Dardendian. The, the dude uh, cuts his thumb and then pu pushes his thumb up against the paper. Right. He's like, I speak for the group there. All right. Now, anything else? Uh, yeah, I think we're approaching the island soon here. Where do you want to park? And now we can go to the other uh, uh, map. Well, let's see here. We can park where it would be suitable and easy to reach the ship, should we need to? Yar. It could be a good idea. But uh, there's some... There's something up there where we'd better go look. What do you mean there's something there? Well, it'd be best if you see no, for yourself. No, it did not eat me. I was fixing something that was last minute. Well, it's it's good to have you back, Jewel. Glad the monsters did. So, uh, at similar time to when that would happen, Jewel, a uh, sailor slash soldier, also approaches you and he says, Hello, miss. Wait, me? Yes. What team are we doing? We're doing the uh, one with Corin, K, and Toyo. Oh, okay. 
I'm, I'm sorry. The word I is now dubbed instead of one off. It's five faces. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait a minute. Five faces of the dumb. Wait a minute. Who's who? Ha-ha! <laughs> da -da wait a minute. Who's the dumbasses in that? Five faces? <laughs> us considering we took on this job well technically and Kate tech snuck on to the ship yeah there's yeah, one of you who's technically, technically I guess I got a substitute but yeah, yeah he no. says hello miss oh hi so hi. I, I got some news from the captain there yes uh, apparently there's some extra questy bits to this quest we're here on for oh, you for mean this research yar but there's uh there's there's something they would like in exchange for money. Basically, money. uh they want you to bring him back and all of his stuff. Bring who back? Uh Saberhagen. He's on the island. He's he's the researcher they sent before you, the one they oh, were asking you to oh, look oh. for. Uh, uh yes, yes, they say yes. if you can bring him and his stuff back, you'll get five thousand gold pieces a piece on top of anything um, yeah agreed and agree on, on top of the original agreement yes okay. and uh okay. they also uh they wanted to tell me if you were to just bring back the body and his possessions you would still get three thousand gold pieces huh. what I'm i sorry, I'm just, i mean i'm looking i'm gonna get my sheet up because uh like i said Spent the most time just running around for five seconds working on stuff. And he's uh, he's also gonna be like, also, miss, I uh, yes. I wanted to see if you might need a little extra help on the island. Um, I do. I mean, I don't think I'm hopeless, but I mean, the company. I mean, I think I have enough company along with the um, dragonborn that cabin uh, not far from me, right? Yar, he was. Well, if that's how you truly feel and you not be wanting the men's help, we we understand. No, 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 no. It's not that I don't want your help, but it's just that I don't want to, you know. It's just that I don't want to it, it work you overtime for your very much even travel uh, taking us to this island in oh, this yar. kind of weather. Well, it wouldn't be for free, that's for sure. But I don't understand. Speaking yeah. of the weather, we're coming up on the island here, and that's. You might, you, we should head to the front of the ship there. I think there's something weird about this here island. However, like I said, the offer, the genuine offer is lovely. That being said, um, I, it's not like I'm turning down the offer. It's just that I don't think I need that ex immediate extent. Yar. A.K.A. she does not want to be responsible for the lives of others. <laughs> Yar. We understand. Hey. Well, thank but you for I your mean, offer and... You know. And plus, if and plus, if we if we do need help, we'll come find you, right? You're in a ship. <laughs> You're the only ship on this island, correct? <laughs> you are. You'd assume so. <laughs> we indeed would assume so. Speaking I of guess. which, has anyone seen the little thing that we had picked up off the side of the island? I think one of the crewmates. Crewmates. Um took it and it has been following them around no that doesn't sound like one of us i don't know I'm, what that is i'm looking i'm looking for thing. that crushed the other guy I'm I'm are, i don't know what robotic one. means but i'm yeah that's the thing construct are so you skill? speaking construct. a language uh it is a thing <laughs> that normally should, normally doesn't hang around us, but it sh you know, it does. But every now and then, it, I mean, one could fall from the sky as much as, you know. You know what I'm saying? Kay will be looking for Corin, by the way. In any case, uh, since we are now coming within sight of the island, uh... Who has the highest charisma? Uh, I mean, I have a 13. 
Oh, wait, that was the other thing. Does anybody have the soldier background? Uh, no. no. Okay. Negative. Where does it tell me my background? Uh, uh, you see it in description. Okay, I don't. No. All right. in um, which case... Also, my charisma is not listed under my under the skills. What does that mean? Uh, he's not... talking about your uh, basic core stats. skills. Yeah, yeah, just your basic charisma, yeah. which is 16. but like it's it's not listed there. What you mean on your on your sheet for Kate? Uh, Kate, uh, Kate? Yeah, it's not there. <laughs> on, on the PDF, it shows it. It's like a sixteen. Strength, That's so weird. Constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Oh, good. There it is. I'm dumb. Uh, minus sixteen. Sorry. Yeah, it's uh, not in your skill checks. It's one of your base skills. But it's, it's I'm good. so sorry. I'm so uh, good at D and D, guys. Sixteen. Everybody's got to learn. Yep. Yeah, least... my my charisma's a thirteen. No, no, my bad is mine's an eleven. That is funny. <laughs> I am looking at someone else's. Get out. So. Uh, most charismatic. Whoever has the most charisma gets to roll this d6, basically. Okay, I roll a d6. Okay. Uh, oh god. Let me roll a d6. I mean, think about this. Uh, Toyo might not be the most prettiest, but it doesn't mean Five. Much. Well, when it comes to Five? Of half, oh, holy shit. Pretty is completely subjective. Yes, five. And plus, we can all safely assume Toya's been on the ship for a day and a, a day. Assuming it took a day to get there. For all we know, the storm could have been pushing in our direction. So as you approach the island, you see a weird fall, well, a low weird fog bank rolling in and obscuring what appears to be a small, flat island in the distance. As you continue to grow closer, you notice that the water seems to change color. Uh, it, it goes suddenly from a blue-green water to a silty black liquid that won't mix with the seawater. Uh, the black water seems to surround the island for about a quarter mile on all sides. And uh, that's about what you see just with your General approach in that role. Now you guys can decide what you want to do. You know. I wanna. I wanna look for Corin, the the other researcher. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me talk to you about my about my buddy. I know. I know. Okay. I uh, that was basically the like, survival open. for tracking to try to find oh. him. Mm -hmm. Rolling one of my new little dice that is scented like a cherry. Uh, 16 plus, you said survival? Mm -hmm. Yep. 19 total. Uh, I mean, you should be able to, like, you know, make your way around the ship and find your way towards, towards them. Towards him? Or them? Okay. Wherever they might be. Mm hmm So where are you? Where are you, Michael? Where are you? Uh... Last I knew, I was still in the captain's quarters. I knock on the door. There's a knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Well, it's not my place to open the door. Well, the captain's not in. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. The captain left. That means I would be leaving, too. So as she's knocking, I open the door. And so I smile and I say, and I say, hello. Hi. You're the other researcher, right? Yes. Cool, cool. Do you know what my little buddy can do? And I pat the top of Mike's head. Give a second here. I need to age considering I'm 20. I need to go check it. I do. What do you want to know specifically? Um, well, I don't know anything about him, so anything you can offer. Oh, heck. 
Add a character is oh heck! To <laughs> he's done on the inside. She's he is my new toy, and I don't know anything about him. Well, anything anywhere specific you'd want me to start for telling you about him? Um, what is he? He is a he is a Modron. A Modron. Yes. What are Modrons for? Uh, guess I'll the I'll start off with relationships. Uh, no, not relationships. That just says that the ND grudge against them. Reasons unknown. Hold on, I'm gonna switch over to my computer because I'm having connectivity issues. Give me one moment, please. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Wonderful. Continue. Well, I can tell you that Modrons have no need to breathe or consume food and liquid to survive. But they okay. do require a regular intake of a unique form of psychomorphic energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know where that, where I could, how, how to do that? How to feed no. him? No, okay. Mike, do you know where to find your food? Does Mike know where to find his food? I don't know, does he? I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm... Okay, there we go. Okay, I can hear you guys now. Okay, um, so if he doesn't have this regular intake of energy, what happens? Does he die? I mean, it's pretty standard, you know, we don't eat for X amount of days, we eventually waste away and die. Hmm. So what can he, like, do? Well, he can follow basic commands, uh, usually, you know, they, they keep order. They're, they're, uh, they're immune to mind affecting, emotion affecting magic that draws upon positive energy. Mm hmm Okay. Cool. Modrons tend to use logic in developing their tactics and follow proven battle strategies. Uh, they're relentless in battle, fighting without compassion or remorse, and are willing to sacrifice themselves to achieve their objective. Then, what's your objective, Mike? Remind me? Uh... Because player doesn't remember, character would, though, because it happened about four minutes ago. Uh, Axel? Sorry, one more time? What was, uh, what was the little Mike's mission? Something about boss, I think. Uh, I believe it was to rescue big boss, or, dis no, destroy big bad boss, I think. Destroy well, me, big bad boss. But let me okay. double check. Because he has his own stuff. Okay. He's a Another thing about Modrons is uh, Modrons usually 
vague commands given to it by any Odron one rank higher than them. Uh, usually they're obeyed without question, and they're only aware of Odron's rank higher than they were. Okay. Okay. That was very informative. Thank you. And I start to walk away. Corn speaks Draconic. Malai. Why everybody you know know Draconic? Best language. He's the freaking dragonborn, so of course he knows Draconic. Maybe he okay. didn't. Maybe he was raised away from dragonborn. I mean, I mean, he is a he is a hermit. I mean, uh, well, yeah. also, uh, Mike, aka uh, Painbot, goes. I wait. Let me double check his words. You only get so many words. I like it. This is funny because probably Toyo is probably the one that would fit that bill of she is away from shit that probably would probably give her the in language, but still Bad's, knows it. Bad circle. Death circle. Bad circle, death circle? Wait, let me double check if he has another shape. Ah, square. Bad square, death square. Bad square, death square. I'd also like to note this is the map of the island I have here, but, uh, it doesn't look like this. I just don't have a map of what this island would actually look like, because, yeah. Speaking of, yeah, you guys, as you approach, you notice the fog roll in. You notice that the sea has become blackened. And uh, you're still approaching the island. Currently. Uh, where was um, Toya in all of this? Um, other than probably the last thing I remember, she was playing cards with the roommate. Probably still doing that, unless she came up. Didn't she come up to see the uh, Modron? Yeah, because yeah. they were making so much noise, and she's like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll go check what the hell it is. <laughs> I think that was the. Uh, okay, screw it. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what the hell is everyone bitching and moaning about. <laughs> One of them got to pet me because I'm a tabaxi, and they pulled up the, the mic. I can't remember which one got to pet me, though. I think that was Catharis, even though it should have been Foreign who got the ability to do that. Would you like to pet the cat? That sounded oh. like jealousy. That's, it sounded like jealousy to me, too. I know, right? Or I can feel that! Alright, okay. Okay, everyone has interest in petting the cat. Okay. Um, no, but I'll I, I'll be I, up I'll be up on deck I just can, so to be see with everybody else. I can so. guarantee you he has no interest in petting the cat. Aww. My God. He he it's only has one in, one interest, and he's not it, going to reveal that. It's a character Aww. from Michael that doesn't have any kind of interest in my character. Oh. <gasps> And then, and you just have Toyo that well, actually doesn't mind petting the cat, uh, petting the tabaxi? You haven't That's asked. Right? You just gotta ask. Just ask. See? See? Anyway, um, Toyo's gonna be up with the rest of the folks. She's gonna let the crewmates do their, uh, finish playing cards. Need be. But she needs a break, baby. <laughs> baby. So, I'm guessing she would have seen the black water liquid. Axel? Sorry, one more time. I said, I said that uh, Toya would probably, you know, um, see the black liquid. Yes, as upon coming out to the top deck, you'd see the liquid and the fog and the island in the distance slowly coming into view. And which Toyo would be like, that's good. Um, see you. Thank you. Um, Toyo's gonna address the captain if he's out there saying, I hate to be a bear of bad news, but don't you, that water does not look, what I'm looking for, safe to sa sail through? If I may put my two cents in?
It's fine. Axel? Sorry. Just checking the book. My bad. I can hear you. It's just sometimes looking at details. Yeah. So you were saying about it? The toy is going to mention that that, um, that, um, thing. Not thing, but the, the water looks a little bit wayward. And probably we shouldn't sail through that, or at least do something. At which point you, uh, you hear Catharis chime in is like, I've seen water like that before in me bathtub. Um, yeah, that's a good indication. Let's not. Joey is going to say, that sounds concerning. Did you have any bathe in that water? I mean, I was... not that water, but... You know, it looked like that once I was done. Okay, oh, yep, that is that's pretty. Yeah, gross. I mean, that means you didn't take a bath for a solid um a while. Yeah, yeah. I I'm not gonna be lying to you. That does sound like that would be a little bit on the gross side. Can I look at the water and see if it's like looks safe to sh sail through? Sorry, to sail open through. I can. I just keep missing it. Hand this book. Yeah, yeah. To if the, can I look at the water and see if it's safe to sail through? Uh, yeah. You can inspect it. What are you trying to inspect it for specifically? I want to see if it'll like hurt the boat. Okay, so I guess I should be more specific. Do you know what skill you want to use to check it? Thinking perception. Yeah, go for it. Because it's not like I'm going to hop down there and look. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I rolled a 9, but I have a plus 6. 15. Uh, I mean, you know, as you, you know, see this C... So wait, what was the total? Uh, 15. You know, uh, as you see the sea, it just looks like black, ickery ic water, almost like sign it seems a little more sticky than regular water, but not really. You know, it just, it's weird. It's like denser somehow. Um... You also notice that it has a strange smell, kind of reminiscent of alchemy and sweet perfume. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Um, anyway, did Toyo get a response to the captain about the water being a little bit concerning? Uh, the captain is kind of like, mm. Arr, I've never seen water like that. Yeah, but our job is I... to get you to the island. Yes, that is true. But also, I would like you guys to also be safe as well. <laughs> Yara, we aren't paid to be safe, miss. Yeah, I know. But it would be, you know. Continue onwards towards the... Yara, that was me plan. Um, why is that kind of go towards uh, the edge of the And I was going to say, with your perception check, I almost forgot to mention that I need to uh, look back up for it. Ah, go up. Yeah, go up farther. Damn this book. I need to make some bookmarks in here. Is this it? Nope. Is that it? Nope. That ain't it. Nope. Alright, this is one. Let's bookmark this bitch. Um... Right, I gotta go down. So, uh, with that 16, you notice that there oh, is no well, not yours uh sorry with uh actually 16 it, I, it, it was uh, a 15 yeah 15? my perception my perception was a 15 yeah oh it should still be good enough so with a 15 uh you can see not far from the island a little bit to the south of the shore is what looks like a galley uh it's still oh. a little far in the fog to see because you're still let's just assume that each of these squares is a hundred feet, give or take. 
So, yeah. But you do see that there's a galley over there. The captain does reiterate, though, that we're headed to the to the island. If, if we can be. I say, Captain, what's that other ship over there? What's that from? In which, uh, Toya's gonna look. Wait a minute. I mean, then again, Toya's like, that could be from the previous, uh, researcher. It's true, could. Could be. Still, if it, this ship is able to, why hasn't it returned to dock? Nobody to pilot? Our, uh... Maybe we... You'd take a closer look at her there and see, but... That would be up to you. Mm. I mean, it makes sense to go out. Maybe on the way back. On the way back. I think that would be our first starting point, because we aimlessly will... You know aimlessly looking around and we don't know what this water does other than you know do you get anything it smells, it smells alchemy like and kind of perfumed oh oh uh, like are we talking perfumed like and she kind of pauses like like as if someone's perfume like and she kind of comes closer to, uh, okay, like, almost smells like this, or uh, like this, or like someone of a, n you know, nobleman. Which is a lot more expensive and uses way too much chemicals, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh, that would be a good question, though. Uh, is it more, wh when you say perfume, it smells like perfume, what do you mean by that? I know, that's what I was asking, that's why if, um, Toya is, like, coming closer yeah. to you, and, and she smells, like I said, she faintly smells like cinnamon, lavender, nutmeg, or any other comforting herb or spice. More or less. Axel. So you're trying to determine what exactly that is, I'm guessing? Yeah, like, yeah. what do you mean by perfumed? Yeah. Well, you'd like, need to, to, uh, take a more close check into the nature of the smell to kind of do it. Okay, I'll do that. So Ooh, this, I have to add to that. Uh, for this, it wants you to roll, like, and I don't know why, but a religion check. Okay. I have a plus one to religion, so here we go. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one actually wants a nature check. Nature? I have a plus one to nature. Go for it. <laughs> Uh, hey, this is great. We're going dirty twenty. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, so you yeah. notice that the water smells like cinnamon, uh, natron, and bitumen. Do I know what those last two things are? No, but you could roll an intelligence check to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> and that one is the religion check. That one's the religion check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nine. Yeah, you no fucking clue. No fucking clue. I it smells like cinnamon and two other weird things that I don't know what it smells. I don't know what that is. Uh, but cinnamon, cinnamon's there. Cinnamon. Yeah, yeah that's nice to know that I sm pretty much smell like the water almost. Uh huh. But what the, yeah. What are the other two? <laughs> like, what are the other two though? I'm curious. Like. I fucking, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Smells, uh, um, kind of, kind of bitter, man. Um, can... get it, get it, get it, because it's bit bitterman, but it sounds like bitter man. I know, I know, I got that. <laughs> anyway, oh, anyway, because Twitter's gonna try now after hearing that it smells like cinnamon and two other things. Can she t take a guess of what it smells like? Uh, yeah, you can make a guess. You'd need Give to it do another religion intelligence check but a religion check yeah sorry religion check all right all righty d20 and plus three so it is 22 yeah 
Okay, so with that check, you are able to tell that these uh, things are cinnamon, mineral salts, and tar, and that they're used together in some cultures to mummify the dead. In which, um, Toyo kind of pales a little bit, like, uh, yeah. She kind of explains to Kay what the heck it, that those last two are, and what they most likely are used for. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah, no. Fun. No, that is, that is unnerving. If it mummifies... Mummifies, um, is from using to mummify dead. And, um, what is your small little companion say? The small one with one eye? Oh, uh, he said, uh, square... Square dead, bad. Square well, bad, like, circle yeah. dead, death. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that. At which sense. point, Mike the Modron speaks up: "Dead, bad, circle, death, water." Yeah, but what was the other thing he said before that? A like, bad boss, kill bad boss. Yeah, and which makes me wonder what. I mean, that is very concerning. When I mean, I think he wants us. I think he wants us to kill his bad boss. Or kill whatever is, um, you know, is causing that, because, uh, causing this, and she kind of motions to the water, because, uh, this is not, should not be, you know, in an island, in someone's water, shouldn't be in anyone's bathtub, frankly, and she kind of eyes Catharsis as she says this. <laughs> it's kind of true. And she's just like, I, I, I think I, I, I'm, it's a good thing, I, I, I mean, I like, uh, my, like my ales and drinks as much as the next person, but I think if I was to smell that, and realize what it is, I think I might gag a little bit. I'll be honest with you. If you, if you at the bottom of the boat, so we should go forward. Yeah, but it's just wondering, what does it, uh, what does those things kind of do to a boat? It mummifies it. Corrin's gonna walk to the edge. He's gonna look down. He's gonna pull his backpack off, reach into it, pull out some hemp and rope. He's gonna tie it to the railing. And after he does so, uh, what do you want me to roll for tying the rope to the railing, Axel? Uh, let me look at skills real quick. What do we got to work with here? Wait a minute. Is he gonna jump into the water at some point? No, he's not gonna jump into the water. But is he gonna put I something guess... in the water? I don't really got anything I think that covers it explicitly, so... Nature? Nature? Nature, survival? Let's go with survival. Yeah, I mean... You have to be able to uh, be able to tie a rope to survive. Right? That's, that's, that's what I was going with. Alright, you're out of nature. You kind of need to know how to use a rope to get some shit done out there, man. So, uh, that's that's a 23 to my, with my survival to tie off the rope. Alright, that's a tied rope. And he's going to, uh, basically repel himself down. And he's going to empty out his water skin. And he's going to hold it by the, like rope uh -huh. that's around the water skin to scoop up some of the uh, black I'm, su glue. I'm surprised you didn't just get a bucket <laughs> <laughs> but I mean yeah. this is equally badass I think that will take a acrobatics check though or and, maybe just a uh, flat dex check but because you are hanging off the side of a fucking ship well, trying to grab water <laughs> oh there you go that's good, because if you'd have that up, I was going to make you get splashed by the water anyway. <laughs> you're going to get fucked so, up. All right, so after I collect the water, I'm going to climb back up. So that'll be an athletics, yeah? Uh, Yes, pretty much. That or pure do you strength. Want us to, like, yeah. Do you want us to like, pull you up? or? Yeah, I mean... Nope, that's, totally totally efficient. Not... that's a 19 on my athletics. Never mind. Yeah, and Witch Toy and Kay are just watching this shit slowly unfold. And which we kind of- Probably Toy is giving her a look for a brief second, like, uh... That, that's one hell of a way of getting- uh, sorting that out. So, Corrin reaches the top deck again, and 
kind of uh, shakes off any remnants of said liquid that would be on the outside of the water skin, attaches it to his hip, and unties the rope, rolls it back up, and puts it back in his backpack, puts his backpack on. Alrighty. Doubt it'll hurt the boat, so we should head. We should uh, go right through. Uh, in some part of her wants to say that is always the famous last words kind of statement. So it, it doesn't hurt the boat. So let's just go in, go through. Well, it didn't hurt his water skin. But his water skin is made of leather. Really? Is there much of a difference between leather and wood? To be fair, well, both of those are actually treated leather and wood. I know, I was about to say Yeah, that. yeah and, and the concept that uh, Toya just explained, what it's used for is more concerning. <laughs> but she's, she's not going to argue that because she has no intelligence for that. She's not Florence. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I had to make that joke. You know that joke was coming out of me. Of course. You know Florence. I'm no good. I need to be something to throw at me for that one. Never know when something like this might be useful. Alright, let's continue I on. I can respect it. I can respect it. Even though you are a, um, I understand you're a researcher, fellow researcher, but aren't you concerned of what it's used for? No. It's used for the, pro for the process of the dead. I know what it's used for. You ask me if I have any concerns. I mean, this. It, I mean, given the fact that this little thing, and she keeps pointing to Mike over there, Mikey, Mike, um, is like, yeah, but that thing also said this is a death square. Death. Uh, you know. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square. <laughs> I mean, a death square can be a no-no square. If you try hard and believe in yourself. Gosh, you're not making it. <laughs> Why is this like? Why is this a thing? I don't know what you're talking about. What you just said. Why is this a thing? No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. That's a, like I said, famous last words. <laughs> To be fair, Mike didn't technically say this was the death square. He just said death square. Um, She's got a point. This is water. It's not square. It's water. Maybe it's in the shape of a square? If we looked high enough? If we were, you know, at the highest point? Is the, is the liquid in any discernible shape? Um, no, I mean, it seems to be, uh, just water. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it seems to be water. Uh, at least on basic inspection. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I thought. You would need a high aerial view. <laughs> I don't know, but, she, but she's also like, you know what, no, nah, no, nah, okay, fine, y'all, you can have it. I mean, you weren't exactly going to try to take it from him. Oh, of course not, no. I'm not, I'm not meddling in that. If you haven't noticed, I don't meddle in people's, um, ideals. Mm. I'm not going to try to have a check of war with someone that clearly is having fun, uh, fun, whatever it may do. Oh god. Yeah, so we have, we have no other option, though, so we should just continue to sail forward. Uh, I mean... I just hope this does not affect the boat, and that's my only concern. And I'll just say that and that. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, but fame and last words, much? We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. No, out of character, that was the me out of character saying that. Like, we'll be fine. <laughs> famous last words. Again, what is it with these famous last words from between the two of you that it's like, 
you say these things, and that yet I don't. I, 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 should I be concerned? No. You just, it just went. It just was said twice, not once. No, you should be fine. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> 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 Fine. Axel, can my character make a check to see if this will have any adverse effects on the treated wood? Just so we can get this moved along. Yeah. I know. You make know, a check. I know. I'm going to say I know. nature. I'm done. I'm done. Nature check? Yeah. Why not? I'm sorry. I am sorry for the That's these. a 17. What does my 17 nature tell me? I mean, it doesn't seem to be harmful to the uh, wood. Well, you don't have any special should... container, right? Uh, special container? No. Okay, you're good. Today. But, uh, basically I tell them that this will have no effect on the ship's treated wood. Yeah, plus isn't that other boat just kind of in the water? In the black water, too? I mean, it's in there, but... Yeah, see, it's fine. Okay, uh, and, uh, okay, I, like I said, I wasn't trying to argue, it's just I don't want to be, I mean, as much as the idea of being stuck on the island with you guys is nice, I don't think I want it to be a uh, prolonged until indefinite kind of adventure. Are you understanding what I'm getting at? <laughs> I want to have an issue with prolonged stay on the island. I mean, does anyone else want to, uh, I mean, unless you guys like living on an island and have nothing else to do with your lives. Cough. I would, I would prefer to to not stay on the island. I mean, I, I mean, as much as I love you guys, company, it's just like <laughs> don't lie to me. You just don't, don't know me. You just met me. What's my name? Say my name. <laughs> Say, my Say my name. <laughs> Say my name. Say my name. Daddy! Daddy! Okay, so it is <laughs> Mordekaiser's. Mordekainen's, whatever. I was gonna say Mordekaiser, this isn't League of Legends. You I know, know, you I can't prove do. that. You don't know what an adventure I picked up. <laughs> oh gosh, I mean. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't know you guys. It's just. <laughs> it's just that I mean, I don't think we want to sit here and. So we'll, we'll say in all this time you guys have made it another 100 feet on the boat. I know, we're just sitting here just talking a lot. So you're still approaching, and things become a little more clear as you come closer, but, you know, still fog, so you, it's nothing. Do any, do any of the other uh, sailors suspect that I am a stowaway? Let me make a roll. What do I add? Ouch, son of a bitch! No, I said let me make a roll. Oh, let you make a roll, I apologize. Oh. You okay over there? I burned my huh. arm. Huh. Huh. No. Okay, <laughs> it's, a D it's a D100, okay. Woo! <laughs> I had a panic check. I rolled it with advantage. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a one and a 20. Yeah. So, I mean, they don't think you're part of the crew necessarily, but they didn't, they don't, they didn't bother to check. Cool. They're a little um, weirded yeah. out by all this uh, crazy stuff going on on the boat. Yeah. Cool beans. Um, are you okay though? Out of character, completely out of character. Are you? Yeah, okay? my my lamp burned me. Ooh, oh. rough. rough. It it doesn't like to stay upright all the time, and the bulb gets very hot. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Oh, and when it fell, it fell on my arm. Touch the bulb. Hey, I didn't touch it. It fell on me. Oh, where is your lamp? I mean, seriously. Beside me. I know, but is it on a table? No. I don't have a table. This is this is where I'm going to tell the world now. I don't have a table or a desk or anything. I'm sitting on my bed, and my bed is on my lamp. My lamp is on my bed. Oh. I was going to say, your bed is on your lamp? I feel sorry for that lamp. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised it's not caught on fire. I mean, then it would be a really hot bed. It's fine. I'm sorry, that was bad fun. Hot bed. Yeah. Well, I mean, my bed, bed my bed is usually pretty hot, so hey! 
Hey! Hey! What? 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 Mm -hmm. Huh? I didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this has devolved into chaos. It's us, of course it has. Yeah, well... <coughs> Bless but, you! Thank you. Uh, Porin, completely done with this shenanigans, is going to go back to his room. Julia, for the most part, is gonna chill out on deck since she's been she spent the other yesterday probably chill, uh, playing cards with the crew. Uh, Kay is gonna go. Kay is gonna look at the island and keep watching the island as it gets closer. Yeah, that sounds about right. Julia's gonna be kind of chill. So we are continuing to approach the shore. And it's a fun time for all. Cough. Oh, it's a, always a famous last word, joy. I'm concerned when the DM says cough. Oh, of course, that's why I said that and yawned. I'm concerned. Okay. That's always the famous last words. I mean, you're good. It's gonna take more time. Is there anything you want to do while you approach the sh the shoreline? I mean, other than have idle conversation with the, you know. Alrighty. At which point you uh. Sorry, I'm okay. trying to figure out how these mm, they want this done in this adventure because it didn't say how they want this done, but you know, we're just gonna make it work. Okay. Sorry, I was double checking all that dumb crap. Now that I've got it, uh, so once you get within about 50 feet of the shore, uh, you hear a loud, loud knock in the boat, uh, lurches forward slightly. I'm not going to ask if that was normal because I am playing as a normal sailor should know if that was normal or not. However, Toya's gonna kindly ask a little bit, just, um, you know. That's a little concerning. I mean, I mean, especially when they shipped off, they didn't do that, right? At which point, you see a bunch of sailors just, like, burst into action as they run around. Just yelling. Boys, I'll get to the ship! To the port side! To the port side! Um, Man the cannons. Ah, okay. I take out my crossbow. A short bow, sorry. Yeah, you're playing your tabaxi. You're not you're not playing Carly. Listen. I usually pick a distance weapon. I didn't remember. Now you're making fun of me. See, see, at least I'm nice. Of course I'm gonna make fun of you. What else are friends for? Dick. <laughs> anyway take out my crossbow and go see what's on the port side yeah same I mean definitely short bow I'm... damn it okay uh, I mean you go there but uh, and you see that there seems to be a hole in one side of the boat 
fair, fairly large, uh, but you don't see anything as far as you can tell in the water, at least not with your normal vision. Uh, Does Corn have to worry about being flooded with water right now? Mm, not yet. <laughs> okay, he's not going to do anything then. He'll, he'll spring into action as soon as water starts filling the ground floor where he's at. Um, Good to know. Uh, roll to see roll. what made the hole in the boat. Yeah, Perception? does Toya... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would... Uh, Toya would like to see what the heck it made that hole in the boat, too. Uh, I'm... The water's so pretty here, you guys. Second. This is second. Because... I, ro- I rolled a different out there. Um, a dirty 20? Dirty 20? Mm-hmm. Does a one uh, so on a perception scan- check hurt me? Ooh. You're just gonna you're gonna yell shark. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's what she's gonna yell? Yeah, that's what yeah. she's gonna yell. You on the other hand, uh you can see the telltale signs of ripples of large shapes moving under the water, but you don't actually see anything. It's not a shark. Uh, okay, she's gonna gotta yell. It's not a shark, but it's definitely something. Looks like a shark. No, it isn't. And she kind of points out to K of what she sees. I also want to note that I said large shapes. Shapes, yeah, large shapes. Could be megalodons. Could be lots of sharks. Yar, it could be. Watch there be like four megalodons out there. This is the day I fucking quit this campaign. Sorry guys, I'm out. It's definitely <laughs> sharks. Not, uh, definitely not that, but it's definitely not fun. Oh god. Meanwhile, um, what do to do? What to do? What to do? Um, mm, save. Can I get a good idea of what it is that bit the stew out of the, you know? Uh. Can I? I mean, you you personally you couldn't see it. I know, but if she can see large shapes. Yeah, that's all you can. You can't see large shapes. You can see the telltale ripples made by large shapes in the water. Yeah. So you can tell there's something moving through the water. You can't see it moving at all. Oh. Yeah, and... Okay, okay. Okay, I get you what you mean. Because I'm like, wait a minute, what can I do then? <laughs> I'm gonna ready a, a arrow in my short bow, and I'm gonna wait to see if I fucking see a big-ass shark. In the meantime, Toy is gonna go make sure she has her shit on her. Because <laughs> uh, I do believe she... Last time she checked, she... Dropped off her backpack. Hey, actually, you know what I'm gonna have corn do? What's that, sir? Speaking of, you have another have turn until the water starts entering your room. Well, what corn's gonna do is he's gonna take his water skin and he's gonna pour a little drop on the table. Uh huh. And he's going to uh, use a spell to see if it's flammable. Okay. What, what spell is he going to use? Uh, it's going to be produce flame, okay. and then I'm going to drop the flame at it. Alrighty, uh, it sizzles for a little bit, and uh, the uh, flame disappears entirely. So it disappears entirely, does it do anything else to any of the other stuff around it? Uh, it doesn't seem to. So basically, the flame hits it, and it just kind of like fizzles out. Yeah. Huh. Well, huh. not even like that. Like, one sec. I gotta double check. Yeah, it just fizzles out. 
It doesn't do anything okay. special. Because we're hit with uh, a highly flammable substance. It supposedly has tar in it. Uh, it doesn't gonna... necessarily have tar in it. It just smells like tar. Oh, it smells like tar. My bad. Oh. Um, but yeah, um, Toya's gonna go get herself in the meantime. Because she did leave the, her backpack. You know. Downstairs. Yeah, in her room. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so you don't see anything... And the turn has gone, so now the water starts entering Michael's room. Um, and, uh... We'll say... We'll say, uh... Jewel, your character, make a will save. Or wisdom... Oh, Sorry, it should wisdom. be a wisdom save, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, yeah, will is wisdom. Okay. Da, 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 where the hell is the spell? There we go. Yeah, so a will save. Uh, 13 plus... That's about a 15. How much? 15. Oof. All right. Uh, so I don't know what it is, but uh, you suddenly see... <laughs> Wait a minute. Got a quick question. What does it? Uh, is the effects? Um, is it? Is it a, an effect that is going to charm or frighten it? Afraid to charm or frighten the person or me? Technically, it has it, but it's not actually a frighten or charm spell. So it's not. I know, by but it, I get advantages on saving throw uh, on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Right, which this one technically doesn't cause you to become frightened, so it's not a frightened spell. It doesn't have to be a frightened spell. I mean, that's the definition of a frightened spell, but fine. <laughs> it depends. I mean, I, you it, can it be doesn't, frightened. That's, no, that's I mean, what the frightened spells do, is it causes the condition of frightened. That's literally token, what that means. Think about it. Okay, but I'm not, I'm not arguing it. But here's my thing. You have a dragon, and it has frightening presence. Right, which causes frighten. <laughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it causes you to have to wince in fear from the target. If you fail the save. Yes, which is my point. That makes it a frightening attack because it causes frightening. It causes the fear effect. This spell does not cause the fear effect. You do not get or a save it... on it, period. Okay. okay. End of discussion. Okay, just asking. Right, and I was just explaining, and then you were just doing something else. I'm just asking, because I do have cutting, uh, cutting will. Mom, Dad, stop fighting. <laughs> oh my god! Right. <laughs> Meantime. Alright. So. Oh my gosh. I'm still looking for fucking sharks. Okay, apparently. Okay, so Joya is friends? Uh, no, because you didn't even let me finish. I just Sorry. said that it wasn't a frightening thing. Okay. So first, you take 4d6 psychic damage. So that's first. Ooh. Yikes. There you go. So there's 10 damage. That's not 10. 1, 4, 4, 1. It's 10. I mean, that's pretty basic math, but if you want to try to shake it up, <laughs> go for it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just having it. I'm being yeah. okay. Yeah, you're, you're having a time. It's all good. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I think you to... caught a case of my dumbs. I don't know how you spread those, but... 
I don't, I'm not even going to fall. No. All right, so... So the next part you get advantage on. Okay. 